Women are not natural born leaders. That statement is one of my absolute pet hates because I believe the corollary is true. Women have been socialised, I think, and have innate qualities around deep listening, empathy and collaboration. And they are now acknowledged by major uh, business um, institutions like Business Harvard Review, and they acknowledge that those sorts of qualities are the hallmarks of very good leadership. And we as women actually have those in spades. Too often, they're the sorts of qualities that are actually used against us and that things like aggressive competition are considered to be leadership quality. But modern management practice actually now derides those and that they're often seen as the hallmarks of bad leadership. And when you have Forbes and the Business Harvard Review actually saying that if those sorts of men who exhibit those sorts of qualities, narcissists, psychopaths in, in, the, in the boardrooms, as is often being documented. And if those men had the same obstacles that we women have put in front of us, they would never have made it. So I think that the rise of the so-called female leadership qualities is very important in our corporate boardrooms, in our political leadership, even in the day-to-day -day, uh, leaderships in our schools, etc., And I think that as women move through these uh, levels of leadership and display these really important qualities, the world will only be a much better place.